Hi, I'm Teresa from Uplift. Today I'm going to be reading a book called A Stopwatch for Grandpa by Loretta Garbutt and Carmen Muck. I like this book a lot because it talks about linking objects, which is something that helps us stay connected with the person or people who have died. When summer started, I got Grandpa's stopwatch. I don't want his stopwatch. I want him. The stopwatch was Grandpa's favorite thing. I can't believe he left it behind. Sometimes I timed Grandpa five minutes to eat three oatmeal raisin cookies and 18 long minutes to drink his coffee sip by sip. Curled up on the couch after dinner, he snored for a whole 20 minutes, then laughed for 12 seconds when I told him he snored like a raptor. It isn't fair that the watch is still here when he's not. I click it on, off, on, off. Then I throw the thing into my drawer. Now there are no more grandpa minutes, no more grandpa seconds. Time just stops. Lunch with my friends is boring. I don't even want to go to the park after school. Maybe I shouldn't have told Grandpa that he snored like a dinosaur. I remember the first time Grandpa let me hold his stopwatch. He clicked the silver button on top and we watched the red hand move round and round. I couldn't take my eyes off it. Seconds tick by quickly, Grandpa said. He clicked the silver button again and the stop and the watch stopped. Another button reset the hand back to zero. But you can always start over again. I didn't think about Grandpa's stopwatch for a long time. You can see the seasons days and nights passing by. Mm -hmm. Then one day I found it buried under my red sweater. It fits perfectly in my hand. I crawl into bed and click the silver button. Tick, tick, tick. It takes 48 minutes for the shadows to move across the room. Do you ever watch the shadows? Tick, 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 tick. The watch sounds like Grandpa. It makes me think of all the things we used to time together. Remembering him feels good. Tick, tick, tick. Like he is still here with me. When the smell of oatmeal raisin cookies fills my room, I hop out of bed and run downstairs. A quick six seconds to get to the kitchen. I wonder if I can eat three cookies in four minutes. I'll need some help to find out. And here's a picture of the stopwatch. Remember when we started, I said that this is uh, the stopwatch serves as a linking object. Can you do this? Link your fingers together. Those, that link connects one thing to the other, just like a linking object, which is something that we have that reminds us, reminds us of the person or people who have died. And those things can be jewelry, clothing, could be a picture or video. It could even be something that you wrote to the person, even after their death. 
So linking objects are an important way to make us feel connected. And just like the child in the book said, makes them feel like the grandpa is still here with us. And so what is your linking object? Bet you have some things. And if you don't, you can go make something like a poem or a picture for the person, maybe drawing a, an activity you, the two of you used to do together, or you wish you had been able to do with the person before they died, right? So linking objects help us stay connected to the people and sharing their stories so that they can still feel as if they're part of our lives. Thank you so much for joining me today, and I look forward to talking with you and seeing you next time. Bye.